عندي ناس الساي هذا في غيرش وتيوم في سيد عيدو ستاديوم أنا نقول شو من عندي دنيد مش نضيف تباي بغي ودو وكاتي كعاي هاي كان هاي باي مياس مش نستوي وظل يبان عنسا أو تود من فيه لقيت بغي ودو لقيت ستوري يا ليجن I've got a committee here today who are going to do a tribute to him. Can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Bobby McGinty. I'm the treasurer of the Willow Waddle Committee. And my name is Alan Morton. I'm the chairman of the Waddle Committee. Right, guys, so what is the actual plan originally? We started as a group of guys talking about Willow Waddle, and for years we've thought, can we need to do something about the, probably the greatest person that's come out of the village of Forth? So we got together. Formed a committee, got the constitution going, had various meetings, and uh, we looked for some ideas. Our original plan was with a sort of leisure setting up there, we've got to try and rename it, as I've done with the Busby Place and Steen and other people. Uh, and that was our original sort of project, if you like. But it's sort of snowballed a wee bit when we got more interest, and uh, from that, we've decided to try and create an appropriate. A monument to the man as a player, a manager and a legend uh, in our club and, and in our village. So there's eight members of the committee? There's, there's eight members of the committee and we're all based in Forth, uh, the greatest village in Scotland. In Forth. Is it Rangers fans in the committee or is it just locals or what? No, no, no we, we have one token. <laughs> we've, just, uh, we've got a mixture. We've got a mixture but we've got one uh, of the other persuasion. So we can blame things. If something goes wrong, we can always blame him. No, but it's fair enough. He's going to, if, he, if he can respect Wally Waddle enough to get into the committee, fair enough. Can't criticise that. So, guys, these are the idea. What's the plan? The, the, the plan, the original plan was to rename the sports centre, then look at some sort of type uh, fitting tribute to my wee memorial thing. But everything we looked at looked more like a, a gravestone, a headstone sort of thing. So, one of our friends worked in a local steel company. Uh, we produced this, it's a steel called Core 10 and they done the Camelin War Memorial. Right. So we, we had a look at this and then thought, wow, we can do something with this. And also it summed up the sort of background to the village of Forth. Predominantly it's a mining community with a, a connection to the Ironworks, a, a local village uh, close by. So this sort of, sort of encapsulated the whole sort of background to what our village is and hopefully gave people an idea of the, the background that, that created the man, Wally Waddle. Aye, so, I mean, one of the things I'm thinking, right, um, the younger generation, the, the younger ones in the village in the area, sure. do you know about Waddle when he was from there? No, no, they don't, and that's that's the thing that the mission was trying to put across. Uh, obviously, to commemorate the man, but to actually say to the youth of our village and surrounding areas, here, listen, this man achieved what he achieved in the game, and. Uh, in Scotland, in Scottish society, if you like. So, Kim, be all you can be. He picked up as a 15-year-old and uh, signed by Rangers, uh, made his debut at 17 and stayed there virtually for the, the remainder of his career, his life, basically. Did he live in Forth most of his life? He lived in Forth, I think he was till he was about 16 year old, and his father uprooted the full, full family into Glasgow to help Willow with his career. That's uh, fair yeah. So... First of all, whereabouts in it and what's the two things going to be the sports centre and the memorial? Yeah, the sports centre, we're well on the way to getting that done. We're hopeful that will be done in the next uh, month and a half, yeah. maybe. It all depends on rather than... Uh, that will be called? That will be called the Wally Waddle uh, sports, sports, and sports Community Centre. Sports community centre. Uh, we're just waiting for the, the word from a, a rather important individual who's going to come along and hopefully do the opening ceremony for us. Uh, so once that's we'll in place, any names, but I hope it's John Greg. We hope it's sorry, agree, we'll he's sorry agreed to it. But well, confirm so that today, we'll hopefully. hopefully confirm that. And from that, it's a matter of us raising the, the money because there's a there's a big cost involved in this project. It's uh, thirty-five to forty thousand pound total. We've got commitments from certain organisations to pay the majority. Of Bobby, he's a uh, finance expert. We um, we received a very generous donation from a. Uh, uh, a Rangers, uh, ex Rangers director, a uh, very famous bear, who's provided the money to rename the sports centre. And of course, there's, there's almost a spiral because the, the monuments are monoliths we're going to do. Uh, we need to raise about 17,000 and true local funding uh, from Leaving Seat and uh, Renewable Energies funding. This will triple to give us roughly about 50,000, which seems a lot of money, but when you see the, the price of some of the the monument statues run about, it's actually no bad in comparison. 
We've got a, a site with, out with the sports centre where we're hoping to erect them. We're just getting an agreement with uh, the council and uh, the locals to agree and the input or the content. Is that in the area? Is that in the town? Or is right, it right beside the sports centre uh, in the village of Forth. Actually, it's next, uh, that sports centre is actually next to the Fourth Wanderers, the local junior team, where Waddle, Waddle started his actual career. So it'll actually look over to him. So, so we're really we hopeful for that. So we guys. You're going to spend all this money. It's going to take it. It's not just money. It's time. This will yeah. take it. You've been getting phone calls, bank forward, emails, this, arguments, disagreements, debates, right. people. Yeah. I can imagine it, right? You're not going to pay all that and in, in 10 years' time it's damaged. No, this will never be damaged. Uh, the material that we're, that's getting made of will outlast uh, all us. The company Nobody. says it'll last thousands of years, and if it does get damaged, a uh, sandblast cleans it up and it just looks as brand new. Right, so what yeah. plans have we got? We, um, We've been meeting with the, the, the company Brown and Walson. They, they've got a division of that company's cut of steel. We've been negotiating with them and gave him the, the Joe, the guy, our ideas, and we've come up with with four monoliths uh, depicting Wally's career from my boy hey, to. Okay, this is this way. I think they're designed to sit at a sort of angle, and this. We don't know the content it's going to be in each of the one. This is a sort of basic idea, though. That'll be the front of it. Yeah. yeah. Is that the same we say? This was Willy Waddle when he won the, the league with Kilmarnock aye. at is Hearts. Aye, they won the league. They won an only league title when they won at Tyne Castle. So they would sit in that kind of order? Aye, aye. Kind of Ruff, order. roughly. Yeah. Can you, this, will, this, will rain, this will go for about 1.2 metres high to, I think this one's 3.5 metres high, and they get wider as it goes up. They get all, it's obviously like, like that one, it's all cut out, and there'll be... We've not decided 100% but we want them, so that's going to be our next project really to try and decide. So, that, that's a design stage? That's yeah, a design stage, stage yeah. We're going to come up with three versions of what's going to be in each one, and we'll get the, the local villagers to decide on the more favoured one. Well, it's going to be so close, so people get an idea that's going to be like. So fantastic for that. And what kind of material is this? Is, did you say something today be the same as the Angel in the North? Ah, it's the same material that the, they built the Angel in the North with and the Camelon War Memorial. It's, Core 10 it's called, it's a specialised uh, steel that improves with age. I think I think it was Andrew Carnegie or something developed it many, many years ago. It actually comes over from, I think it's Finland, they import it from. And the, the company in our village have got a, a contract with that. So you mentioned Andrew Kilnegie there. Mm -hmm. I think that was the guy that uh, developed this uh, steel. And, uh, is that the famous Andrew Kilnegie? Yes, That's yes, it. the very one. He wasn't born in Forth. No. Well, we're calling him Dunfermline. Dunfermline, yeah. Dunfermline. Uh, Dunfermline. Uh, I just want to get a wee plug in from the main organisation. <laughs> a well-known, well famous, world-famous orange man was Andrew Kilnegie. If anybody's interested, let me know. I didn't know that. That's quite interesting. Hi, <laughs> he's a famous one. Uh, um, so, that's what we're going to do. What sort of time scales now are we going to get this ready? Well, the, 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 renaming, the, the renaming will be, as you say, in the next couple of months. And thereafter, it's about how we manage to fundraise. We've got our Just Giving pages. We've had some outstanding donations recently. So what's the, how, do we, how do we find the Just Giving page? We've got a Facebook page and there's a link on the, the Facebook, the Wally Waddle Memorial Facebook page and you can there's a link there to take you to the, the crowdfunding page. We'll have that added in the comment section later on guys. We're, we're also on Twitter. We've also got a Twitter stuff. account, yeah. And Have you uh, taken any kind of donations for you? Any, any, any donations for you? Through the yeah. bank as well, bank transfer. Bank transfers. We've, we've had, well Bobby can get an insight to some of the donations we've had for you. Or meet his eyebrows. Aye, aye, aye. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. Phone us something, phone numbers are there. We had a very uh, generous donation recently from the Vanguard Bears. Uh, they donated £1,500, which is an incredible tremendous. amount. Uh, really tremendous. So we're, we're, we're not looking for, but I appreciate getting that amount. But ah, so that's what I mean a minute ago. Somebody's wanted to put a couple of quid in, I've not got a lot of money. I I see, look, I've got quite a happy. Here. I've got a group of guys are sitting and put a pound in each and stick a tenner in. They can, then they, when this does get finished and it will get finished, they can say, well, I put a part to that. Of course. We wanted, we wanted to, to, to belong to the, our own community, to the Rangers community. So 
it's, it's, it's for them to put their part to, to acknowledge this great man. Of course. And uh, <coughs> just forgetting the fact that he's from your village, you know, mm -hmm. how highly would you rate him in football terms? Well, I, I'm, I'm of an age that my father would tell me about Waddle. He was a big Waddle fan. Uh, he had a fascination for wingers. My, my name's Al Morton, so my, my father was quite clear that he was here. Well, he supported uh, Waddle, tremendous player, tremendous, tremendous athlete. I mean, when you look into his history, as we've done, he was uh, could have been anything. He had the opportunity to be become an athlete, and he turned it down to sign for Rangers. Aye, aye. Aye. He actually, sorry, he actually uh, done uh, athletic. There was athletics at Ibrox back in the day, and Willie used to do athletics, then go and play football. And he used, it's and probably uh, a good argument. He's probably everything. Oh, they always see Dougie Gray was all to sign and mm. things like that, but. Probably a good argument to say that Wally Waddle was everything that Paul Stroop wanted Stroop in a danger. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, and, and, I think, I, I, yes, and I think he installed that uh, philosophy and uh, the, the Greggs. When, when he came back as manager, I think uh, he, uh, he learnt from Paul Stroop and tried to because introduce that. Uh, every maybe 10, 20 years, there's a, there's, a, there's a standout character in the Ranger story sure. who's been the top man. Mm -hmm. right? And it's when you, you look at Walton, Paul Stroop, Waddle's up there. Absolutely. 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 The player, yeah. the manager, sure. was, it, was he assistant chairman or something like that? He was, uh, he was a director then. He was the general manager, general I think, manager. the terminology yeah. once, once he jumped up after that. The vault was also involved in the new, the new Ibrox Stadium being very, built. Very, very after much After Ibrox so. disaster, yeah, he was he's uh, visionary. Created, yeah. He's credited with uh, being a major part in that. And you, that ties in with the impact he, uh, on, on society, if you like. I mean, God forbid what happened at Ibrox uh, 71, but there was no legislation to see Ibrox had to become all seated. That was a Rangers decision. That was something that Waddle pushed for. The other thing with that, with Waddle, that people have never, maybe it's been touched on before, but mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm thinking about it now. Waddle took that on his back himself. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's been Ibrox disaster and getting a new stadium built. Basically a stadium that we've no idea how we're going to do it. Seats right. and things like that. Mm -hmm. See, now does that see when it comes to stress, managing Rangers alone would be stressful, right? Oh, aye, how definitely. much that, that must have impacted his life in yeah. the, the, the years of stress of watching That's people right. passing away and trying to do right. memorials from doing the right thing and not upset people. Yeah. And he, he ensured that a player attended every funeral for the Ibrox disaster as well. That was one of the big things. I mean, the, it was certainly a, a ranger in the traditional way with uh, all the standards of the club. Absolutely. Aye, definitely, yeah. And sometimes you wish some of these standards would maybe have returned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the arguments I would say is if you'd done the, the, the poll for the greatest ever ranger mm -hmm. 10 years earlier, I think it might have been a wee bit closer with uh, Waddle. I think so. I think uh, I'm of a generation that Greg would always be Aye. my vote. Yeah. I, I, I've no, I make no qualms of that. Yeah. But, uh, Greg, to me, is just an extension of Waddle. Waddle, Waddle right. And that's Waddle is a great. Greg was a great ranger because of the influence, and I believe, of Wally Waddle. So, but, but would you agree then? What you told me, there are no greater actually than great man himself. John Greg coming along and being the man that unveils it. Yeah, well, I'm a fourth boys brigade, ex boys brigade, and we had the, the European Cup Winners Cup brought up to fourth by Mr. Greg. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. they won it. So they're always Waddle kept his links with the village. He so, brought our uh, Rangers under 16 team up once to play against yeah. their, um, uh, That's right. the Fourth Royals That's at the right. time, aye. Aye. up to yeah. the Wondrous Park. Aye. 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 Aye, so the village has always had the Rangers connection because of Waddle aye. and everything aye. else. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think with the Fourth Wonders won their first league title, a B division title many years ago, Waddle bought the flag aye. for them. Yeah, he was, he was all in his close ties. Close He's ties. doing the right thing, obviously, with this tribute. Sure. Definitely the right thing. Is there anybody you need to thank? Is anything you need to remember? There's, there's, there's a few. We need to thank uh, Robert Marshall of the Ibrox Loudon Tavern. He's a, been a big support and he helped us last year with our sports dinner and brought through the, Barcelona, the Barcelona Bears. Bears. He's been a tremendous help. Also, his son Greg, Aye. who's the, the SLO, he's been a, a great help as well and got us up and running in Twitter, which. Mm -hmm. Was uh, immense, 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 thing, immense. Yes. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, obviously, Vanguard Bears, they, that's an un yeah, unbelievable amount. Club 1872, uh, they've been very supportive and sent an email out to everybody within their support. And uh, this morning, Ian McCall, the, the, the Rangers yeah. Founders Trail was in touch, so over the weekend uh, they're hoping to make a donation. And as we said, we're, we're we appreciate the huge amounts, but we support the clubs. Well, aye, 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 aye. aye. So people go support the Mark Dunwall a few times. Aye. The thing we uh, <coughs> our supporters clubs, 
Lanzarote, just... Lanzarote, recently dated the Sporters Club for £100 and... Just a reminder about Kenny Rick's name, I'm going to have to go and feed out. I'm going to have to go and feed out. I've got to Lanzarote since I've got a free beer. No, honestly, it's... The response has been tremendous. But you're right, worldwide. But it's the punter just off the street that comes up and puts a donation in and says... He's yeah. a great man. We've never met him before. We don't know these people. Twenty pound, ten pound, fantastic. I'd lead Ranger supporters trust have been, uh, supporters club have been in touch as well. So Australia. So we're really getting the message yeah. across. And I mean, want to keep that. But anybody Absolutely. anywhere in the world is interested in Ranger story, Roy Rodwin, any family, friends, nice. anything, it's, can get in touch. His history is incredible, and uh, we need to have people like that. Some anybody that wants to attend on the day. Aye, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. His well, family's involved as well. Yes. We've got the full support of his family. His sister Marion uh, stays in Canada. He's got a sister. Anne and they'll get to be in to love the letters there, really son hard. Peter uh, Ronnie and his daughter Els are very supportive and Ronnie and Peter and probably Els are coming up to see us on the 7th or 8th of March to uh, go to the steel company and look at what, they're, look doing and what they're doing just to get their, get their, get their input support. into it that's a real, real honour if you've got anything like that absolutely, aye. absolutely. Aye. Aye. I mean the problem you've got with these things is uh, as I say to you you're going to make that you're, when you start mentioning names you're worried you, you miss anybody out if there's anybody missed out, it's no intentional for the guys, there's like probably a hundred people helped. And D- Davey and Mags for the fourth one, they're very supportive, <laughs> <laughs> a local pub, uh, uh, they, really, they've, been they've, been, they've been tremendous with us. Uh, uh, they've been great. Excellent guys, is there anything else you want to tell me about us before we finish up? No, to thank you for uh, getting us in to do this and uh, hopefully we can generate a pound or two. Brilliant guys, so before I finish I just want to dedicate this wee show today to my late dad, George Diddy Leslie, his favourite player ever was Dido Doddle. Willie Waddle. Sign in the TV, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Keep the fat face on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we are the people.